It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru as she discusses adding feathering and a drop shadow to a sketch using Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to start with a Photoshop document and we're going to open it in Photoshop first so that we can give this a transparent background. So I'm going to drag my file onto the Photoshop icon. And the way that I normally do this is I just take the magic eraser, which is this tool here. It looks like the magic wand, except there's an eraser attached to it. And what I'm going to do is with the magic eraser, you click on a particular pixel or color and it erases away everything that is attached to that particular pixel. Um, that's the same color. In our options bar, you want to make sure that contiguous is checked so that we don't erase away all of the white, just the white background. And I'm going to go ahead and click once on the background. Also make sure that you are on the correct layer. And I click once and it has erased away all of the white so that now we have this checkerboard background, which is a transparent background. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go to save as, and I'm just going to call this uh, shoe to test. And we'll minimize Photoshop and open up a new Illustrator document. So within Illustrator, what we're going to do is drag this document into Illustrator and we're going to apply two filters. We're going to apply a drop shadow as well as a feather. So let's go ahead and drag and drop into Illustrator. If you cannot drag and drop, you can go to File and Place and then find your file that way. From here, what I'm going to do is go to my effects menu. I'm going to go to stylize. The first thing I'm going to do is add the feather. Now the feather is just going to soften the edge of my sketch. So I'm going to click on preview just to see what the 0 0.01 inch feathering does and not much. So let's increase that to let's say 0 0.08. And you can click anywhere inside the box. Let's uncheck preview and then click on it again so we can see the feathering. And you can see how it's sort of softening up the edges a little. Let's make it 0.1 and we'll go ahead and hit OK. And that should do the trick. Okay. From here, we're going to add one more filter. So we're going to again go to the effect panel and go to stylize and we're going to go to drop shadow. So in drop shadow, you're going to add a little shadow underneath your sketch. Now with drop shadows, I like to make them look a lot lighter um, than the default 75%. So I'm going to bring this down to let's say about 35%. Um, I'm going to keep the offset on zero because I don't want it to look too offset. And I'm going to put my blur at 0 0.05. Now these are just my preferences. They're things that I've tried before and I know I like them. You can feel free to try different things and make sure that you click your preview button to take a look at it so you can see what you like. And as you can see, it's a very subtle drop shadow. It's very, very subtle. It's very gray, but it's enough that it gives a little bit of extra life to my sketch. If you wanted something a little bit darker, you can bring the opacity back up to uh, something closer to 100%. And we'll see what that looks like. And as you can see, it gets a lot darker around the edges and your offset if you wanted it to look more like your shadow was falling away from your sketch you would give it more of an offset so i'm going to put mine back to zero and put my opacity back to 35 percent 
and I'm going to hit OK. All right. And there is my sketch. And let's do one last thing. One of the great things about having that transparent background, not only will it allow you to add your effects to just the shoe or the sketch that you have there and not the actual box itself, but also if you wanna add um, some backgrounds, you know, like some kind of color or gradient, I'm gonna add a gradient to this. Um, you'll be able to see right through it. So you can only see the shoe and the shoe will look like or appear as if it's sitting right on top of your background. In the past um, and even now, if you do not have a transparent background, it ends up looking like a big white box sitting on top of your background. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a gradient and I'm double clicking on what's called the color stop and I'll give myself a nice color. I'm just switching to RGB. And once you start putting some of the filters on, it does tend to go a little bit slower, especially um, that feathering. I'm gonna take that feathering off of this so that it goes a little bit faster and I'm going to also make this go to something more transparent. So I'm gonna make the opacity very light on the white side and you'll see how this works in a second. Now I'm gonna to go to my appearance panel and I'm gonna take off that feather and that drop shadow so I'm just dragging those two effects into the trash can because I don't need them on my background. I just wanted them on my shoe. And then I'm going to right mouse click, go to arrange, and then send to back. So now this is behind my sketch. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the gradient tool and I'm going to make my gradient go in a different direction. So I want my gradient to look like that and I'm going to go back to the gradient pan I'm going to make this a little more of a a red as opposed to a pink so it looks more like it goes with this sketch and I think I'm going to make her a little more transparent as well so it looks very washed out All right. Okay. So there you have adding your um, feathering to soften your edges and a little bit of a drop shadow to a sketch. And then also adding a gradient background to your sketch as well. And that is our lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for our next one.